you know, part of the like switching mediums thing, I think is also, it's like I'm switching businesses too. You know, I'm not getting stuck in the expectations of each. It's very easy to see now what, um, what people would have me do. Um, so oh, what would they have you do? Well, like after the first movie to right away make, uh, like a studio movie that's mm -hmm. like kind of how you get your stamp of approval in the industry like look she's proven herself with a bigger budget and big stars you know and not to finish your book of short stories you know <laughs> um, the work that i see it somehow feels like the person made it accidentally or mm -hmm. without credentials somehow mm -hmm. and yet if it's really good it's like all that much more inspiring because it sort of gives you permission right to you're like well i don't have credentials maybe i could do something that great and i think everyone ultimately feels like they don't have credentials you know that's like with all your characters there's this merging of life and daydreams and i'm wondering uh if that's something you work with um i mean i guess that always seems you know at one point i had ordinary jobs too and the uh the huge chasm between my inner life and whatever I was doing and saying when I was, you know, selling movie theater tickets or uh, unlocking car doors or whatever I, job it was, was so painful and bizarre to me. It was like, wow, it's this, this like science fiction reality that's totally normal. And yet it's absolutely demanded that we like all function and do our tasks and like, you know, don't flip over into some kind of alternate reality. Um, but there's a tension there to me. That's, mm -hmm. That is the place where most of my stories happen.